Hey everybody, Zach again at NewToTorah.com, coming in making a video for you today. You know, um, as people come into the knowledge of Torah, people are learning more and more about Torah. Uh, they're learning, you know, what their Bible actually says versus what their pastors or what they've been taught over time uh, in the churches. And they're going back and reading their Bible for themselves, and they realize all of these things, you know, these truths about Torah and and that there is a definition of sin, you know, and there is a reason why I need a Savior, because I have fallen short. Well, if I have fallen short of the glory of God, well, how did I fall short? How am I supposed to know unless something tells me? Well, you go back to the Torah and you read about it. And then you read about your Messiah who came and walked out a perfect example of that law for you to follow. And so this really enlightens a lot of people. And they start, you know, to learn the Torah and they start to celebrate the feast days and they stop celebrating all these, you know, Roman holidays that aren't found anywhere in your Bible uh, that really have a lot of origins in, in, in pagan worship. And so they start doing all these things and lo and behold, uh, family members and friends come to them and like, dude, what are you doing? This is not, you know, you know, this is different. This is not right, blah, blah, blah. And they start arguing with them. And they throw out verses to them. And that's one of the verses I want to go over today. And that's Romans 10, verse 4. Let's check it out. For Christ is the end of the law for righteousness to everyone that believes. And so right there, Zach, it says it's the end of the law. Christ is the end of the law. That brings it to an end. We don't have to do these things anymore. That, that's, we're righteous now just because we believe. Well, that's not, that, that's not right. See, someone who believes will, ha will have a change. Someone who truly believes something will show what they believe. Their actions will show their true belief. And so we see that Christ is the end of the law, but see, that doesn't make any sense. If, that, if that's really the case, then we have a whole bunch of contradictions in the scriptures. What does that mean, the end of the law? I would submit to you that you're reading it wrong. Have you ever heard of that phrase called, uh, where it says, uh, the means to an end? Have you ever heard that? Have you ever heard it said, well, it's a means to an end? You know, what does that mean? That word end right there that you see in Romans 10 verse 4 can also mean goal or purpose. So read it that way. Look at it. Let's just try reading it that way. For Christ is the purpose of the law for righteousness to everyone that believes. Or for Christ is the goal of the law for, for righteousness to everyone that believes. That sounds a lot different. But see, the Greek word there is called is telos, and that's what it means. It means goal or purpose. And that's exactly what that phrase, you know, we're all familiar with. It's a, it's a means to an end. See, means to an end, it, it, that's called uh, conse consequentialism. Sorry, consequentialism. And it's by an act that moves someone towards a goal. You do something, there's an act that moves you or someone towards a goal. A means to an end. An act towards a goal or an act towards a purpose. Does that make sense? That's what it's talking about. That, that's the end that's being used there, a goal or a purpose. For Christ is the end of the law, the goal of the law, the purpose of the law for righteousness. Consider these other verses. Let's look at verse 19.7. Check this out. The law of the Lord, the Torah of the Lord is perfect, converting the soul. Well, if the Torah of the Lord, the law of the Lord is perfect, how can it ever not be perfect? Let's look at this. Psalms 119, 142. Thy righteousness is an everlasting righteousness, and thy law is the truth. You'll find no other definition of truth in your Bible. Okay, that's the only place you'll ever find it. Thy law, thy Torah, is the truth. That's the Hebrew word there being used in, in verse 142. Law is Torah. Thy righteousness is an everlasting righteousness, and thy law is the truth. Well, what does 10, 10 4 say? For Christ is the goal or the end of the law for righteousness to everyone that believes. It's the goal of the law. It's not the end of the law. But see, people look at that right there and they're like, I don't know what he's doing. He's doing all this Torah stuff. And it says right here that the law is, is ended by Christ. So why, why is he doing these things? And they don't understand. And they think they're getting verses, you know, they're like, D have you not read Romans? I'm like, yeah, I've read Romans. I, I, I totally understand what you're saying here, but you're reading it wrong. It's a purpose. It's a goal. You see, the law was to show you this is the way you live your life. We've all fallen short of that way. We're all deserving of death. We're all deserving of punishment. But see, someone came in 2,000 years ago and took the punishment that you and I both deserve. So now I can be righteous by knowing that I have failed that law, but someone else stood in place for me and took the punishment I deserve for breaking that law. Now I'm free. I'm free to go. The punishment has been paid. But when I go, I'm going to change because I truly believe in the sacrifice that was given to me 
I'm going to change my belief, change my actions, change my ways, change my means, and I'm going to be different for righteousness. Because that's what true righteousness is. Is to have a true belief to change by faith. And the grace that's given to me is the fact that I know I'm going to mess up. I know I'm still not going to be perfect. But see, you know, he, he got the grace for me. I, I, don't, I don't have to worry about that. It doesn't mean I can go out and live my life any way I want to. But it means I'm going to try my best to live according to that law. That law that set that is built for righteousness. It's that simple. Christ is not the end of the law. Our Messiah is the goal, the purpose of the law. I hope that explains it better. All right, we'll leave it at that. Go home, read your Bible. Thanks.